TV. It's a dangerous thing. Hmm? It's a dangerous thing. Follow me on this. This one gave me some uh, difficult worldly application to apply this to. So I may stumble a bit. But stay with me. So you finish your shift at work. Hmm? Now, whether you did way too much or you did not enough, make no difference what you do, what you did or didn't do. The point is, you're in your car now and you're tired. You tell yourself that, I'm tired. I don't feel like doing anything. Mm -hmm. I just want to go home, take a shower, plop down in my chair, plop down on the bed, whatever. Turn on some TV until I fall out. Mm -hmm. That's what you tell yourself. You don't even want to stop by the store mm, to pick up a few things for work the next day. Hey, say I get it in the morning. I'm tired. Mm. You're tired. It's understandable. So you're in the house now. You done took your shower, changed your clothes. You did exactly what you said you were going to do. Turn on the TV, plop down in your spot. How odd that you find yourself at some point putting on your clothes or maybe just your shoes. You're in the car. Why are you doing that? You say you were tired. Where are you going? Now you're driving down the street, headed towards some place. Well, why are you doing that? You say you were tired. You say you weren't going nowhere. Why are you doing it? So let's just say you get to mm, McDonald's because they just released the McRib again. Hmm? You arrive and you either get out the car and walk in or you go through the drive through Wait a minute. Why are you doing that? You say you were tired. You say you weren't going nowhere. Or you get the sandwich and you head home. Now you're in the house. Back comfortable again, and you open up the box. Something strange about the sandwich, it didn't look like it did on TV. But now you start to eat it, and it's not all it was cracked up to be. Let me stop there. What caused you to get up? Go all the way down the street to the McDonald's and get that sandwich, which you already knew. Wasn't going to look the same as it did on TV when you saw it. Why did you do that? More importantly, why at no point before you got that sandwich, did it seem like you were able to stop yourself from doing it? Mm? At no point. When you were putting on your clothes, you didn't stop yourself saying, hey, what am I doing? When you got in the car, what am I doing? Oh, by the way, let's add this to the let's add this to the pot. The thing that you wanted from the store before you got home, you didn't even go get that. You just went straight to McDonald's, got the sandwich and came back. Why? And why at no point during your journey? Did it seem like you were able to manage yourself enough to stop and question yourself as to why you were doing what you were doing? Keep in mind, originally you said you were tired. <clears throat> Why'd you go do that? And still didn't get the stuff that you said that you were going to get for work the next day. Hmm? Sometime when you're on social media, you'll come across a strange little picture, a funny little picture. Mm -hmm. And it'll have a number attached to it, and it'll ask you to Google that number. Mm -hmm. One particular number leads you to 
the patent office website and to a specific item that was invented, patented. That item, that device, attaches to your TV and your computer monitor. What it does is it manipulates your mental and emotional state. Hmm? Which is why that person who posted it was trying to warn you about it. Is that why you weren't able to stop yourself from doing what you were doing? Because of that device? And how many times has that device been used? And on what? Or oh, that chicken sandwich that everybody was going off about? Maybe. See, I don't like to wag my finger at people. E-Y-E. I. That's not the intention to, to guilt trip you or make you feel bad, but... Gotta ask the question, though. What happened between that TV and your brain that caused you to get up? When you said you were tired and you said you weren't going anywhere... And caused you to forget all about the other stuff you needed for work the next day. Just to get that one thing. Mm -hmm. Mental and emotional manipulation from that device. Eye to brain manipulation. Possibly. My advice. Go to the patent office website. See look around at what kind of things have been invented then use your imagination as to what they can be used for pros and cons good and bad if you're intuitive you'll find it you'll know right away if not use your intellect hmm? be careful with the TV it's dangerous.